Say it, everyone. Yes, we can. Can't. What? Okay, so we can't thrash the Romans, but we can. The soup's getting cold. Just a minute, Sugar Plum. Be right there. Like I said, we can't thrash the Romans, but there's things we can do. We drank the magic potion for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm warning you, if I run into a Roman civilian in the forest, I'll give him the dirtiest look of his life. And I'm warning you, if a Roman civilian is lost, I'll give him directions, but I won't care if he goes the wrong way. And I'm warning you, if a Roman offers to help carry my basket, I'll say thank you, but I won't mean it at all. Uh, these are my pals. <laughs> they have nowhere to go. Something about a missing whatchamacallit. Well, that takes the cake. The last time a Roman set foot here, I wasn't born. I refuse to let Romans set one foot in our village. Civilians or I'm not. I'm not sure about you, but it's starting to feel a little bit like an invasion to me. <laughs> Evil invaders! We're under attack! <laughs> Invaders? What are you talking about? It's a lost family. But sugar plum. A family is a family. Poor child must be starving. I won't have it. Come and have some lukewarm soup. Pay no attention to those big brutes. Sit down. Uh. Asterix. Village warrior. Anonymous. Mosaic artist. I'd put you up, but my house had a run-in with an acorn. Uh, a very naughty acorn. Obelix will sort it out for you. Mm. Eh? Come on, then. Follow me. Okay, so what do we do now? About what? About the mansions of the gods, the Roman invasions. We can't sit here and do nothing. In the meantime, more buildings are going up, which means more Romans are on their way. Right. We have to find a way to get rid of the civilians without thrashing them. <laughs> it's time, let's do it. Obelix! So I raise my horn and toast to your new life at the mansions of the gods. That's more like it. Finally, the famous Brittany Ray. When I think that back in Rome, it's stifling hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. Morning. Morning. Get your fish fresh as the morning dew. Um, how much is your mackerel, sir? Uh, one cestus. One cestus? In Rome, they charge five and it's not as fresh. Five? No, not here. No, 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 no. Here it's, uh, one. <gasps> it may be, because we're right by the sea. Well, in Rome, weren't we right by the sea? In Rome, we're by the sea, but it's dirty. I take three? Yes. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? What? I should refuse to sell to the Romans? You want me to starve the poor kid? Is that Do it? you realise if you were in Rome, you could sell those fish for five cents? Is a piece. If you were in Rome, we'd get rid of that toxic stench. Incomplete. Denied. Next. What's going on out there? I don't know. It's too dark. What's going on? Do you know? No, can't see a thing. Let's get some sleep. We anyway, might as well. Nothing right? could ever be worse than Rome. <laughs> <laughs> At least here we've got the Brittany rain to cool us off. <laughs> oh, babe. Morning. Morning. Step right up. Mansions of the Gods special offer. Four cestuses of mackerel. Four cheaper than Rome. Oh, that knickknack is divine. Oh, what an eye you have. It's no ordinary knickknack. It happens to be an authentic shield that belongs to Vercingetorix himself. Hey, how much junk do you make a week that belongs to Vercingetorix himself? Your fish is about as fresh as a mummy in an old tomb. Oops. Pile incomplete. Denied. Next. <laughs> What's going on, do you know? I don't know, it's too dark. Oh well, let's get some sleep, we might as well, yeah. right? Anyway, nothing could ever be worse than Rome. And we've got the rain to cool us off at least. Oh, uh, morning. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> 